With compound inequalities, okay, all that means is um, that we're solving them both and they're going to go on the same number line. Okay, the same way that we graph two lines on one graph, we're graphing two, two little like things on one graph. Okay, so uh, if the sign is like this or like this, it's going to be a solid dot. And if it's like this or like this, it's going to be an open dot. Okay, you need to make the dot big enough so I can see whether it is open or closed. Okay, and then last but not least, and I don't remember if we've done this before, um, have we talked about flipping the sign, when to flip? Yeah. Okay, so when do we flip the sign? When the number we're dividing by is negative. Okay, so when, okay, we'll say if you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip sign. Okay, and then we'll see a pattern with the and and the or here in a little bit. Okay, so if we look at this first one, well, you solve these totally separate. This is one equation, and then this is a whole nother equation. Okay, so if we're looking at the first one, and I'm going to write it down here just so we got room. Okay, how do I solve for n? Okay, we're going to plus three. Okay, what is negative 12 plus 3? Negative 9. Okay, is that on our number line? Well, kind of. I mean, it's, it's in there. Okay, so on the negative 9, should that be open or closed? Okay, it's going to be closed, so it's going to be right here. Okay, and which way is that line going to be going? It says N is what? greater. So which way is that going to go? To the right. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a little arrow so we can see what's happening here. Um, okay. So that arrow is going to be anything that's greater counts. Okay. Now, if we're solving the second one, what do I need to do to solve for N? It's going to go a lot faster than if you guys start talking. Not subtract, add two. Okay, so five plus two? Seven. Seven. Okay, is the seven gonna be open or closed? Closed. It's gonna be closed. Okay, and this says N is what? Less than. Less than. So which way is it gonna go? Left. To the left. Okay, so that means this one's gonna be going this way. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. And in this case, I'm going to say positive, but it's not really positive. Okay, so um, let me think here. Roller coasters, right? Um, Disneyland has a lot of big kid or little kid roller coasters? Disneyland. Okay, or like, um, you can even think of like Cedar Point. Is that big kid or little kid? Big kid. It's definitely big kid, right? Is there, uh, do you have to be a certain height? You know? Yeah. What about a weight? No. Yeah, for some of them. Some of them. Okay. And the weight usually applies to too big or too small. Can you be a thousand pounds and go on there? Absolutely. No. Right. So you have to be between a certain weight and a certain height. Okay. Can a little kid this tall get on there? No. No. Okay. Can uh, uh, there is even height restrictions too? If you're like nine foot, you can't get on it because your freaking legs will like they can hit some stuff. That's essentially what this is saying. If we look here, and I'm going to say positive, but you need to be somewhere between 9 and 7 to ride that roller coaster. Now, that's a negative 9, so it's really not a good example. But that's what that's saying. Anywhere between there is a solution and or you can ride. Anything outside of there, you cannot ride. Okay? Um, and so that's what that's saying. Now, because I have these arrows, this is what it's actually going to look like. Okay, and this is what yours should look like. Okay, so I don't want to say uh, on the rest of them. Okay, you're going to have these two dots and we shade in between. Okay, and so you can just draw your arrows. Okay, and you're shading in between those two lines. And that's what an and looks like. Okay, so ands are typically, not typically, they are, okay, pointed in. Okay, so an and... It might be open or closed, but they're both pointed in, okay? 
That means an or is probably pointed which way? Out, okay? So an or is gonna look something like this. Okay. Okay, ands are in, ors are out, okay? Maggie, get off that. Okay, so let's look at number three. Okay, is this an and or an or? Or. It's an or, so it should be pointed out. Okay, look at the first equation. I'm solving for r. What needs moved? The a, that's one. Okay, so we're gonna say plus eight, plus eight. What is negative 16 plus eight? Negative eight. So we got r is less than negative eight. Okay, what about the second equation? How do I solve it? Times three. Okay, so I'm gonna say times three, times three. What is zero times three? Zero. zero. Okay, so those are two. Okay, on the negative eight, should that be open or closed? Open. Open. And this says R is what? Less than. Less than. Okay, on the zero, open or closed? Closed. Closed, and this says R is greater than. Greater than. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and we can just look at the difference between these two. This one is an and, see how they're both pointed in? We're shaded in between. This one is an or, and they're both pointed out. That's how they should look, okay? So, um, I'm going to say you don't need to read it because obviously I want to encourage you to read the sign. Okay, but um, you know what they should look like. Okay, ands go in, ors go out. Okay, look at five. How do we solve this first equation? Times nine. Do we need to flip? What do we times by? Nine. Okay, that's positive, so we don't need to flip. <clears throat> okay, second equation, how do we solve? Subtract. Subtract nine. What is eight minus nine? Negative one. Okay, on the negative nine, it's gonna be open or closed? Closed. Going which way? It says X is less than, okay? And you kinda of should be able to know because this is an or, so should it be going this way or this way? Ors go out, okay? So, um, and then the one, negative one, open or closed? Open. open. Going which way? This is an or, so look at it. Yeah. Okay, ors go out. Okay, number seven, is it gonna be, is it an and or an or? So what should it look like? Yeah, they should be connected, okay? Ands go in towards each other, okay? So um, for the first equation, how do I solve for x? Plus five, what is negative 14 plus five? Huh? Negative nine. Okay, and then the other equation, how do I solve for that? Times four. Okay, on the negative nine, is that gonna be open or closed? Closed. Going which way, is this an and or an or? It's an and, so we know that they should both be pointed in towards each other. Okay, so just do the other dot. Okay, which is at four and it's going to be open and then you can connect the two dots together. Okay.